everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to uh, record audio from your mac os using screen capture kit uh, in a native mac os application so yeah let's get started also there is one thing which uh, like i made a mistake in my previous video of screen capture kit like uh, if you remember we require screen and system audio recording permission right and i have told you to get uh, to show like if you want our app to show over here we have to archive our app actually that is not necessary i have found a better way of doing things we just have to request permission like i couldn't figure out how to request permission but now i have figured that out so uh, once you request the permission uh, your app will automatically show inside screen and system audio recording currently you can see that my app is, name is second yeah give whatever name you feel like and here you can see that currently my app is not visible over here right now i will quickly run my app and i will click on the start so start means start recording but as soon as i click on start it checks first for permission and here you can see that uh, it can't find my permission but it opens this uh, dialog so if i click on open system settings here you can see it has now presented my app i'll allow the permission and I, it asked me to quit and reopen i will just do that i'm not sure why it is asking for twice but now and also this is not getting dismissed i don't know why but again this is like uh, systems like the os uh, thing maybe there is some bug in mac os i don't know uh, but if i now click on start it will literally start recording the audio so for that i'll just play this in the, the server cabinet to make sure we can handle the traffic but we can and now i will stop and i will click on the stop button and uh, this audio is saved inside the uh, downloads folder so if i just go to downloads here you can see the recording has been created and you can play this recording in the, the server cabinet to make sure we can handle the traffic but now i'm not sure if you guys can hear it but i can definitely hear it uh, so yeah let's see how to achieve this so first you will have to create a native mac os project uh, using xcode and i am using uh, app kit but if you want you can use swift ui as well next uh, inside this project uh, you will have to go to sign in and capabilities and inside the app sandbox make sure you check this audio input also inside uh, for the downloads folder you will have to give the read slash write permission and inside hardened runtime also make sure you add this or checkbox this audio input permission once that is done you will have to go to your view controller here you will have to import screen capture kit as well as avf audio now screen capture kit api is only available from mac os 13 and i think that is ventura so yeah i am i am using sonoma so yeah that should work for me and here i have uh, extending this sc scream delegate as well as sc scream output stream output sorry and here uh, i have created an enum for audio quality as well as audio format then i have created one variable for sc shareable content one for content filter one for our audio settings one for our stream and one for our audio file then inside view did load i have created two buttons a start button and stop button as well as i have assigned some click listener to it as well now this is the click listener for our start button so as soon as uh, the button is pressed i am first checking for permission so if the permission is denied you come over here and this is how you open the privacy settings uh, from your system settings app uh, for screen and audio recording so once this permission has been granted the user again will have to click on the start button or because the so once you grant the permission uh, the system settings tells you to quit and relaunch your app right so we can't really uh, do anything about it so, but once that is given permission has been granted we get the available content and we call this prep record uh, method and for stop record for stop stop button we just call the stop recording function so for prep record we first up, call the update audio settings which i will show you in a bit and here we uh, we just check whether anything is excluded or not i don't think anything has been excluded and only our app bundle identifier and here then we create our filter so sc content filter we display the available content uh, that displays first the first display and here we just create our prepare audio recording and here we 
do an async await task of record whatever filter you have passed so this method gets called we just do an sc stream configuration we pass the width and height of 2 then we uh, set uh, the minimum frame interval show cursor i have set it as true capture audio true then here we uh, uh, set the sample rate as well again this has been copied from docs even i don't fully understand this and then the channel count then we initialize our sc stream then we add the stream output for our screen as well as the audio and then we call start capture for stop recording we just have to check if stream not equal to nil then we just do stream dot stop, stop capture and uh, assign stream and audio file to nil and this is for audio settings so currently i have hard coded the audio settings like uh, uh, the audio format for current is audio format dot acc dot raw value right so i have assigned this audio settings but if you are using some other audio format you can use this bit of code as well uh, then is prepare audio recording so here we are just again i have just hard coded it to raw value audio format dot acc dot raw value and it comes over here m m4a but if you want to use any other format you can use that then you will have to hard code it over here as well and here we are just uh, like sending the downloads directory url this is the name of our file and here you can see i'm passing that particular url we are creating our audio file for it and this method is useful for writing the audio file so that whatever we have recorded is been returned to this audio file that's what it does and this is for stopping it and here we have created a cm this uh, like this methods are already present inside this uh, delegates which we have extended like the sc stream delegate and output and also like i have uh, just created this extension of cm sample buffer av audio pcm buffer and uh, yeah just copy pasted this from documentation even i am not really sure about it uh, inside app delegate i don't have anything so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye